I'm Tiffany Frick and you're watching Craft Your Imagination. We're here at Pinspiration located in Vickery Village in Cumming, Georgia and we are a do-it-yourself arts and crafts studio. So let's go inside and get started. resource for people here in Forsyth County to be able to go to to find things to do, um, places to go, uh, also small businesses to support and it all happens right here on the local level and it's it's awesome. I love it. Awesome. That's so cool. So I have a really important question for you. Okay. When was the last time you used crayons? Oh goodness, that is a good question. Um, well, I do have a five-year-old so I do color often but only when I'm asked to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You yes. sound like a great mom. Well, today we are actually going to use crayons in our project. Oh. Um, so we are going to make this melted crayon canvas, um, and we're going to personalize it with a name. Um, so do you think you might want to make this for your daughter? I think so. Okay, awesome. Well, let's get started. Okay. So what I, this is our canvas. We're going to be using an 8x10, just standard canvas. Uh, what I want you to do is just pick out what colors you might want to do. We're going to use okay. about 25 different colors. Not colors, but crayons. Okay, okay. Now, I noticed in here when I'm looking, there's, there are obviously Crayola crayons. Is there a reason for using those? Yes, so we love Crayola crayons just because they're so sturdy and strong. So when we get to the melting part, um, they really withstand so that your crayon doesn't actually fall off. Okay. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed that also that some of these don't have paper on them. Is there a reason? Like, can we use it with paper? <laughs> so that's a great question. So actually, um, with the crayon, we're going to want to take off the paper. Um, just because we don't want the paper to get too hot when we're melting it. Because mm -hmm. um, we don't want to start a fire or anything like that. So a very good tip with this is just to be very careful. You can use a box cutter or an X-Acto knife. Um, this kind of works as both. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is just hold it really firmly mm -hmm. just so that you don't cut yourself. Okay. And then we're just going to slowly slide down the crayon. I'll give you that so you can try. And then just peel the paper off. Okay. Just like that. All right. See if I can do it. <laughs> That's always the true test. It is. I don't know. Nope, I didn't do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so let me see. Let me see if I maybe just need to do it a little bit harder. There you go. Ah, there it is. So, a little tip to do it nice and hard to be able yes, to do that paper. A little bit of pressure goes a long way. Yes. All right. Very so, cool. Thanks. All right. So, yeah. I just need to finish picking out my colors then. Yes. All right. So, let's see. So what colors are you thinking so far? Well, Does she have like a theme for her room? Yeah, she's definitely a, like a pink and red type of girl, purple. So I think I'm gonna try to go with those types of colors. Do you think that'll look good? I do. Um, I think your daughter and I would get along great because pink is my favorite color. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Okay. So once you get your colors picked out, Mm -hmm. uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, glue to glue it all down. Okay. So one of the tips for gluing it down is the type of glue that you use. Um, one of the best glues that I love is Liquitex glue. Um, it's super strong and sturdy. Okay. A lot of times that I've seen people do this project is they like to use a hot glue gun, which I don't personally like to use just because it, it falls off a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, so the Liquitex glue is going to really help it stay on so when we melt it, the crayons will still stay intact, but it'll still melt like the tip part off. Okay. Good to know. All right. I think I got my crayons. 
figured Perfect. out here. Awesome, you got them in order and everything? I think so. Okay, I love it. Oh, I guess they need to be pointed the other way, right? Oh, that's okay, we'll, we'll just flip them over. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, I actually need a popsicle stick um, so that we can put the glue just on the bottom of it. Okay. So another trick with this is to cover the whole bottom part of the crayon. Okay. So with the glue, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a popsicle stick. And I'll just show you the first one really quick. Okay. Just a little bit goes a long way and we're just gonna spread it across the crayon. Just okay. on the bottom. All the way down. All the way down, yep. Okay. And you don't need a ton of glue, just, um, just enough to cover it. I think okay. we might need a little bit more in the middle right there. Okay. Probably if you use too much, it's gonna take forever to dry. Exactly. So then we are just going to stick it under our canvas, just like that. All right. Perfect. Why don't you, maybe you can count my crayons to make sure. Yes, <laughs> Let's make sure that I count it three, because that's well, we don't have important. It. Let's do just three. Okay. okay. Thanks. Three. nice to have an extra person to help you in these cases. <laughs> oh, we did need that one. Okay. That's why it's good to count. Yep. That's 25. You did All it. Right. Good job. I can count. You can. <laughs> Even using crayons, like going back to kindergarten. I know. <laughs> so would you say that for a project like this, um, do you feel like there's a certain age that like maybe what would be the youngest age that could do something like this if they wanted to do it? Well, that's a great question. So the biggest thing with this project is if you are a child, um, I would definitely have an adult with you just because we're going to be melting the crayons across the canvas. So okay. you just want to make sure you have someone to help you just so that you know, you don't burn yourself or anything like that. And we'll go over those tips too um, with how to be careful with it. But I would say, I mean, anyone can really do this project um, as long as you have the help. Um, an adult can do it, like, just like you. You're making it for your daughter's room. Um, okay. You can make it for a playroom. I mean, you could really do anything with this project and add a bunch of different embellishments as well. Um, so I would say, I mean, the youngest that I've ever had do it um, would be five years old. Okay. And just help from his mom. Okay. But, and it's a good project because with all the different colors you can use. It can be for a boy's room, a girl's room, um, whatever you kind of want it to be okay. for. I think I've actually had more boys do this um, than girls, even though our sample is That's for a girl's room. It's probably because, you know, being able to melt the crayons, I feel like yes. that's just that fun. <laughs> I would love that. Yes. My brother would love that too. Now, what kind of glue is this? Because I feel like it's a little bit thicker than regular. Yes, glue, so of... it's Liquitex glue. Okay. Um, so it's gonna be a lot thicker and stronger than using like an Elmer's glue or a hot glue gun or anything like that. So the biggest thing is to have that thick, sturdy glue okay. so that it, number one, it dries fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, you don't need a ton of it. Um, just a very little bit goes a long way with it. And then when you go to melt it, it stays intact. So that's the biggest problem with using like, for example, a hot glue gun because with hot glue, you can just peel it off. Oh. So we don't want that to happen because then our crayons won't stay intact on the canvas and you want it to be like a pretty sturdy mm -hmm. base for the melting part. And for most of them, like, can this be customized? Like, could you take the crayons down the other side? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So you can glue, we could glue the crayons like this way, we could do it this way. Uh, any way that you really want to, you could put crayons on the side of it if you wanted to and then you get to determine how much it melts. Okay. So you get to decide when to stop and when to keep going and things like that. Okay. So we could literally cover this entire canvas with color from melting all the crayons. You just would keep melting you it. Just keep melting it. Yeah, or you could do less. It's totally up to you. And it's okay, I'm seeing that obviously I've got a little glue on my fingers, but it's getting on the top, that part, this glue dries clear. It does, okay. yes, yes. So you won't have to worry about that. Okay. And we're gonna cover, um, the crayons over with glitter too. Oh yeah, that's right. So you won't even be able to see the glue. That will be It'll just be all covered up. That'll and you can add anything to this project too. 
Um, you could customize it with a bow on the top of it. You could customize it with actual glitter. We're going to use glitter glue, but you can use anything that you want. Buttons, beads, rhinestones, anything. That's awesome. I love that part of it because you can really you know, make it your own. And exactly. Every piece is going to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Which is what you like. So it looks like I am almost done here. Awesome. I'm just going to do this last color. And then what, what's, what's going to come next? Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to wait for it to completely dry. Okay. So that is a very big tip with this project is if it's not completely dry, once we start melting the crayons, they will fall off. Okay. Um, so a good trick with this to determine if they're dry or not is just rubbing your finger across them okay. and seeing if any move. Just the slightest movement um, could actually make the crayon fall off. But luckily, with the liquid tux glue, it doesn't take very long for it to dry. Okay. So it looks like I've at least got the crayons on there. What do you think? It looks awesome. I yeah. love the colors that you I picked. I love it. It's going to look great. I know. I think she's going to like it. So we'll just give this about five minutes to dry. Okay. Um, we can start picking out our letters. Okay. And this is the part where you are going to customize it with a name or anything that you want to put on it, and then right. we can start painting them. Okay. So here's a couple different choices. Um, you can use any size wooden letter. We mm -hmm. just use this, this smaller size right here. Um, oh, that way if you have a longer name, it'll still fit onto okay. it. Okay. And if you do have a longer name with this too, you can always um, stagger the letters. So okay. maybe one up a little bit higher and one a little bit lower. You could do it like diagonally if you wanted to, however you want to do it. Okay. All right, well that is easy enough. So I don't think I asked you, what is your daughter's name? So her name is Sayla. So cute. Yes, it means uh, to pause and reflect upon. Oh, I love that. So she has a great name. Her middle name is Grace. So, so cute. That's awesome. I think the bigger one. What do you think? The L looks sexy. There's one right here. Okay. There we go. That looks better. Perfect. Okay. So what do you think? Good? I think that is perfect. So we can start painting that. Okay. So I'm assuming since her favorite color is pink, I grabbed this pink cup oh, for yes. you already. Perfect. So we're going to take a pink cup. Okay. We're going to open this paint up. This, right? Yes. And we're going to pour just a little bit of paint into here. So a little bit of paint with this goes a very long way. Okay. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on this as well. So this is obviously not a normal paintbrush. Yeah. Um, this is actually called a pouncer. So okay. the biggest thing with this is um, not to do too much paint. So you're just going to dab it in. Wipe it to the side of it, and then just dab over the letters. All right, I can do that. Oh yeah, that's nice. So the reason why we wipe it off on the side is because you don't want a ton of paint. Um, it'll take off the excess paint of it, and then it gets a very nice coverage onto the letter, and then it dries a lot faster as well. And then these can be drying while we start melting the crayons. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, it does give it a great coverage. It's smooth. You don't have to worry about. Now sometimes with um, Paint brushes and different projects that I've done, they you tend to see a lot of the paintbrush strokes, so it's nice. Exactly, not and you don't want any streaks on it, no. so this will help kind of buff it out. Awesome. Oh, I love this color. You picked out the perfect color, Tiffany. Oh, good. I'm <laughs> glad. I hope she likes it. I think she will. She'll though. love this. Okay. Okay. So I think that's it. Do you think I have to do a second coat or? You know, I think that's pretty good coverage. This is a very pigmented pink, okay. um, so I think that'll work great. So now we'll just wait for these letters to dry. And okay. do you want to test out these crayons a little bit to see um, how dry they are? Just a little bit of movement. A little bit of movement. Yeah. See what you think. It's actually. It's drying super fast. Oh. So I think we'll give it maybe like another two minutes. Okay. Um, do you want to go get a drink? Yes. Okay, perfect. Absolutely.
libations, we can get back to our project that's probably dry now. So cheers to that. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's test it out and see if it's dry. So do you wanna rub your finger across it one more time? Yep, the letters, the letters are dry. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you grab these tins. Okay. And this part's easy because this is probably something that you have around your house already. Um, so we're just gonna use two of them just because it does get kind of hot. Okay. We're gonna place it into this little L shape. All right. And you are gonna take that canvas and lean it right up against here. Okay, just like that? Yep. Okay. So if you're doing this at home, you might want a second person just to help you out um, mm -hmm. to hold this. And now you're gonna take this heat gun Okay. And on the lowest setting, you're just gonna run it across. Okay. And it'll help it melt. Now, me... if someone was at home and they didn't have one of these, would they be able to use a hair dryer? Actually, no. No. So that is a good tip. So a hair dryer actually won't work as well as the heat gun. So the tip is um, make sure you get a heat gun. You can order them off of Amazon or anything like that. Okay. Um, or probably any hardware store, you can probably get it. Um, and you just want to go slow and run it across and not be too close to it, just so that the heat isn't overwhelming the crayons. Okay. And it should, yep, it's starting to melt. And, and you, you get to decide, the yep. Okay. And you get to decide how much it goes. Okay. And the other thing with this heat gun, it is, it's not a hair dryer. So you want to make sure you don't run your hand underneath it to see if it's hot or anything like that. And you're just going to do it on the canvas and you want it to continuously move so that it's not getting too hot in one spot. So that's okay. So we're just going to pick it back up. Yep. All right. Perfect. And you can keep going. Great. Easy enough. Since you only have that side to do. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. It's, it looked like it was kind of hard to get it started, but once it started, once it starts yeah. melting, it goes pretty fast. So, and also, I focus more on the bottom half of the crayons. Exactly, right? yeah. So you want to focus more on the bottom just because you don't want that glue to completely come off of the crayon. You want the top to stay sturdy. Okay. All right. What do you think? I think it's good. Good? Yep, so we can turn that off. And then you just want to be careful with it just because it will be hot for a bit. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to lay the canvas down because it is going to be hot. Just straight into there. Okay. So we're just going to let this sit for about a minute or two. It doesn't take very long for the cold to hit on it. Okay. And then do you want to put any glitter onto your letters? Um, sh sure. What yeah. do you think? Do you think yeah, that you glitter that. would on them? So we're just going to use this glitter glue. Okay. And put a little bit onto a paintbrush All right. and you can just just rub it on there all right so this one is great because this glitter is uh, it's a little bit gold so I feel like it brings a good little accent to the yeah to the whole little piece Let's get and glitter glue bit. is um, obviously a lot easier to use than regular glitter because then your house isn't covered in glitter and you're not tracking it everywhere you go yes. <laughs> um, and it's also not coming off um, <laughs> once you pick up your canvas, because I know that's a big one. Yeah, you don't want to have any resi glitter residue. You'll be fine in that for months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've definitely had my fair share of glitter bombs go off in my yes. house before. Not, not fun. No, not at all. All right, I think the glitter is good. I'm just going to get this last little piece here, so it's all nice and, and even with a little bit of bedazzled glitter. Okay. 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 So this is good. So do you oh, want to wow. feel it? Yeah. Gosh, that dries so fast. I know. It cools down very quickly, which is yeah. awesome. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same glue that we started with, that Liquitex glue, okay. um, with the popsicle stick, and you're just going to rub it onto the back of your letter All right. and then stick them right on the canvas. Just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, I'm just going to make sure this is all even before I start gluing because I'm a little crazy like that. <laughs> all right. Aren't we that all looks good. Yeah, a little bit. So same thing with this with the crayons. I'm just putting 
a light layer of the glue. I'm not having to put exactly. a ton on the back. Yep, exactly. Um, less is always more when it comes to glue. Um, when I was growing up, my art teacher used to say, dot, dot, little dot, don't be a squirt. Oh. So we don't want to squirt glue all over it. We just that. need a tiny bit of it. Okay. And that glitter right. should have dried really fast too, right? It, it did dry really fast. Awesome. I really am very impressed at how quickly things dry. Yeah, it's just like um, when the crayons are sitting on here. Now, it always depends on how much glue you put on for how long it's going to dry. Mm -hmm. I think ours took maybe 15 minutes. It yep. wasn't too bad. No. Okay. It's looking good. I love it. Be great. She's going to like it a lot. She'll yeah, be so excited. I love the light color in the midst of a little bit of this dark. Yeah, so. it's always nice to use a light color on the wording just to make it pop because the crayons will melt a little bit darker. Like maybe a shade darker than they would look as they're glued down. Yeah. Awesome, I love it. You love it? I do. It looks so good. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. You so did much. such a good job. I wouldn't have been able to do it without your help. Oh, so. Thank you. Thanks. And she is going to love it. Awesome. Well, I think that's it for our first craft. All right. Sounds good. Welcome back to Craft Your Imagination. So we are going to go ahead and get started on our next project. So I told you how we're all about color today, right? Yes. So now we're going to use even more color than the first project. Awesome. So we're going to make this pour paint base. So this is a very fun project because you can use a ton of different colors. So you ready to get started? I am. Okay, so we've got our aprons on. We're all covered up. So we are just going to start pouring paint into these cups. So I'll get you okay. three and I can help you pour these too. Just like half full? Yeah, about half. You don't need a ton and we can always add more if we need more. All right. I love these colors. I was just thinking the other day for, we always have a Mother's Day celebration at my house. And this will be so pretty to have on the countertop with some pretty spring flowers. Yeah, exactly. And you can use this for so many different things. I mean, you can use it to put even your like spatulas and spoons into. Oh, um, I didn't think about that. You can put flowers into it. I mean, anything. You can always spruce it up with a ton of different stuff too. Cool. Something I never thought of. So the trick with this is the cups. So the reason being is because of when you pour it out of here, a ton of paint comes out. Even if you use the squeezy bottle, this just helps thin it out. Okay. So all you're going to do is, I'll show you the first one. We're just going to pour it right over the edge and it's going to start dripping. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and you okay. try that. Right next to it? Wherever you want. Okay. And so you're going to drip it right on the top. Yep, oh. I'm gonna go off the side. Okay. So we can just keep adding like some more color. Beautiful, this is fun. No, it'll be such so like a cute, like a Mother's Day present. You can put it in your kid's room, in your kitchen. I mean, anything that you wanna do with this. So when you're, you. when you're pouring it out too, I just noticed because I was pouring a little much. Um, so, Probably better to not try to make it look so perfect. Like you're exactly. Try different globs. Yes, you know. exactly. So it doesn't have to be perfect because that's the beauty of DIY. Um, when you're doing it yourself, you want those little things. Like that was a huge glob, and it's fine. Um, the colors can mix together. Um, another trick you can do is you can always take like a um, even like a popsicle stick or a toothpick or anything like that and do like swirls into it. Oh. Um, I've seen that done before and it's really pretty. Okay. You can also, you can cover the entire top of this because it'll be your bottom if you want or you can leave it rounded like that. Okay. So anything that you want to do, you can do that. You can add glitter at the end of it. Um, for ours at the end, we're going to end up using the jute. Okay. Um, just to wrap around it, but you can put a bow and anything like that. Now would you use a, a paintbrush too? Like if I, we wanted to cover this in, could we just take a paintbrush and yeah. just smear it down? Oh, yeah, right. totally. Yeah. So there's no really set way. And is the goal there's to no rules. cover the all of the glass? Like I said, it's up to you. So oh. if you want the whole thing covered, we can definitely cover okay. the entire thing. Cool. I love that part of it because I feel like so, so often we, uh, you know, just try to make things be perfectly balanced. Exactly. That part of it's and that's the joy of crafting is 
you don't want it to be perfect. You want people to know you handmade it. Because mm -hmm. it I comes from the heart. I think it looks great. I think it looks good. So we are going to let this dry. Um, we might add a couple more colors to it too if we need to, but we're going to let okay. this dry and then I'll show you what to do once it's dry. Awesome. I think it looks really good. Mm -hmm. So this face takes about two days to dry. It kind of just depends on how much paint you put on it. It could take longer, it could take shorter. Um, so I have a finished one for you. Okay. With similar colors on it. Cool. Great minds obviously think alike then. I know. Cool. It's crazy that it that it dries flat. I know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It um, Luckily it won't bubble or anything like that. It won't be too thick. It's just like a straight plate of paint, which is awesome. Awesome. So um, now like, we can jazz it up a little bit, we can okay. tie a bow on it. So I have some already pre-cut for you. Okay. Um, so if you want to start wrapping it around a couple times. Sure. You can do that. Like this? Just with one strand. Oh, one strand. Oh, well. I can do that as well. All right. And then, yep, perfect. And then you can do that as many times as you want. So you can just, okay. yep, exactly. Even it out. Love it. And you don't have to use jute either. You can always use ribbon. You can throw some glitter on it. Anything that you want to do. Perfect. Not the best bow thing. It's okay. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> now, here, I'll give it back to you. And then okay. I have some flowers for you. So we can go ahead and put these in there. All right. Love it. And you can use this for Mother's Day, for Easter, any type of dinner. I think it's so cute. I love it. So it cute. So that you was so yourself? easy. I'm so proud of myself. It's such an easy project. It's great. A great project if you have kids to do it with them because it's so easy I and mean, the adults can do it. Anyone can really do this project and it always turns out super cute. Love it. So it goes from this to this. It's awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us on Craft Your Imagination. Um, we're here at Inspiration, where community meets creativity. And thank you, Rachel, for joining us. You did so good. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, well, we'll see you guys next time.